Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing the actual series of uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now the game's only just updated to 1.4.1. I don't know how well the game's going to handle. I know that there's a lot of changes, so hopefully this won't have any really bad problems, I guess. So now, let's, let's find a name for our company. Well, our name, really. Um, no. Um, you have seen nothing. Yes, I can put. Ah! Alright, make it look secret. You have seen enough. Anyway, let's find a picture. Okay. These look like they've just taken pictures of people and photoshopped them into black and white. What? He looks like a gangster. Ooh, he looks like an Ike. He looks like an Ike. Um, basketball player. Preferred truck design. Oh, the new Iveco Stralis. Yes, please. Um, let's go for... I don't know, the gears. Yes. They're Minecraft. Actually, Ava Hawley. Yes, I do speak English in Europe. Don't have any mods. Remove them all so that it wouldn't crash or anything. Create. Uh, keyboard. Re automatic. Finish wizard. City I would like to sign in. Hmm. Osman, or however you say it. Skis. Maybe let's start in a city that I can't say. Well, I'll go through the tutorial. I have played this game. I played like over 81 hours of this game. What is Euro Truck Simulator? At last you have the chance to experience your dream job driving a truck. It's not a dream job, but oh well. Anyway. Your own transportation company is now open for business. Ooh, open for business. But you sadly have to grab the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. No one's hiring me, I'm getting my own truck. Your truck is to safely deliver a load of hays to Euro goods. That does not sound like a real company. I don't know, I don't live in Europe. Dock into the city I can't name. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. Ooh, start engine. You can use the following keys to move. Oh wait, gotta go into gear. The other camera views. Oh, nice. It's time to make a delivery. Use root advisor to see where you, where you, where. It's time to make a delivery. Use root advisor to see you, where uh, see where you are and where you need to go. Press F1 to look closer. You have a sat nav called root advisor. Hello, root advisor. Hello. Available at all times. Root advisor displays your current status. And helps you with information about your current job and points you to where to go. When the game is paused, you can control Root Advisor with the mouse. There are also shortcut keys assigned to the most often used functions, which you can use instantly while driving. The available keys are suggested directly by Root Advisor. Thank you, Root Advisor. That's okay. Your current status, current speed, gear, damage, fuel, fatigue. Email indicator, time, and your money. Oh, the top one, okay, so that's here. You can realize contents of currently selected page. I guess that's in my minimap. Toggles, page toggles. Switch between navigation, current job, description, truck diagnostics, and short messages. Oh, and I guess these are shortcut keys. Continue. The navigation map shows your current position as a blue arrow. Blue, my favourite colour! 
if you are on a job, it also shows the shortest route to your destination in red. Actually, it doesn't usually show your um, shortest, I should say, but it, it, it does usually make it quite quick. Anyway, at the bottom of the page there is an estimation of the remaining trip time and distance and you <coughs> and you can cycle through different zoom levels by pressing F5 or the button on screen. Switch to job description by F6. Description page summarizes what you're carrying and where. It tells you when you uh, expected how much time you have left and how much money you'll receive if you arrive on time without damaging the cargo. You can also cancel the job. You really must by pressing the red button. In that case, you will have to pay a substantial sum as a penalty. To go to your diagnostics process set. On the diagnostics page, you can see how badly your truck and your cargo are damaged. <coughs> the truck can be repaired at a service station in any city. The damage to cargo, however, is permanent, so be careful. Oh god, that'll be tied around corners, especially when they're big long corners. If you happen to get stuck on the road, you can also call road assistance by hitting the yellow button. For a fee, they will take you to the nearest city and help you get back work. This is all you need to know about Road Advisor. You can run this tutorial again at any time by pushing the help button, which is that button, I guess. Yep. So I'm pause the game and continue playing. Press F1. Close tutorial. All set and ready to go. Follow your navigation towards your destination. Oh, it's only 1K, which is one minute. Left indicator. Wait a minute, let me check my options. Graphics high. Yep. Audio. Yep. Backup beeper. Yeah, that'll sound more realistic. No, I do not like that. I like. No, wait. No, we don't need to use that in this country. Soon. Retarder. Um, no, I want to do that myself. Truck speedometer. Air brake simulation. Online news. Invert mouse. Go. Sorry about I'm knocking on my mic. And check. Clear. Clear. Sorry, people on the other side of the road. I go right here so I can put the right indicator on. Don't hit that fence! Ooh, close. Majestic truck dealer? That's right, they haven't got they haven't got a license. Oh wait, no, I need to go right. Oh well. They haven't got a license yet from uh Mercedes for their truck, so they call it Majestic, but they have the exact same truck design. But there's a couple of mods out there like realistic companies and all that that change that to the actual company. Ooh! Enter the dock and find the unloading spot. It's marked with an animated... Ooh, oh, oh, fudge, I missed that. Now you could simply drive close... Wait, I'm not close enough! Ah! Yeah, I know, I know. I, but I, I'm, I'm going to be a real trucker, hopefully. If it's not too confined in here... Um, oh, good. oh, my gosh. It's a little confined, that entrance. <laughs> that entrance... Okay, it's not a little... Oh, fudge. We'll just have to park the trailer in over there. Damn it, I'm not gonna skip unless I fail badly. What what did I drive up onto? Wait. Uh is that oh is that a oh, okay that's like a curb. I want the trailer to go right. Oh reverse. Um Apparently I don't see the trailer going in there. But if it does it's a miracle. You know what? I'm not gonna do these. They're really hard to do. They're not really easy to get in. 
1k. Oh my gosh, I got so much money. <sighs> no. This is your headquarters. Really, the old, the old bum down garage with spray paint crap all around it. Nice, thank you. It's a pretty basic garage, yeah. Oh, worse than basic. But it may not be much. Let's get it. to get you started. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can upload it. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park in there yet. So there's no trucks in the spot. I got the dirt the tracks around it. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you will be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. I want to have a computer to check where everyone is in the world. Yeah. Anyway. Here you can see a progress. Hello, you have seen nothing. Progress history. Pick my next job. Yes, I would like to. Um, 22 tons of oranges. Wow, they must be some heavy oranges. Or 25 tons of rice. I get paid a lot more for that. Right, go root lane to price up. So that's going to get me the most money. Alright, take job. I got a man truck. Alright. Electronics on now, engine on. To gear. Let's see how much. Yeah, I don't care. Um, diagnostics. Oh, I got dual axle back wheels. Anyway. So, 480. I've driven a truck more powerful than this, and I was pulling like yogurt. 18 tons of yogurt. This is 24 tons of iron pipes. Well, I guess it gave me a small engine for the more wheels, I guess, because that gave me small wheels, because it wasn't heavy. <laughs> oh, wow, that's not road, that's not a road rage horn. That's what a truck needs, a road rage horn. So there we go. You should go, go. <laughs> I like the auto turning off indicator. It's a nice touch that they added to the game. It makes it more realistic. But it doesn't always click off just like a real car or truck. Nobby? Hello? Anyone on the phone? No answer. Let me punch in some numbers. Oh, fudge. No one answered. Let's look out the window. Beautiful scenery. Twenty-two degrees. That's at least that's warmer than where I am currently. Ooh, the radio. Let's put that like that. Oh, oh, that's new. I've never heard that before. I guess they just added that. Oh wow, that's what they have on highways. They have like like pieces of rubber sticking up off the lines. Oh, a mail. They have pieces of rubber or something sticking off off the lines, and when you go over it, it makes a noise. So if you're like fatigued, you get you know when you're going over the line. Dear sir, madam, I'm a sir, not a madam, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. You are. We are a certified truck dealer of Iveco trucks, or retailer, whatever. We offer a wide selection of different configurations. We can also perform customizations to accommodate any special wishes. Please visit our showroom in Frankfurt, Frankfurt, and Maine. The truck you have always dreamt might be just waiting behind the door. Best regards, your Iveco truck dealer. What's your name, manager? <sighs> I mean, I've got to do something, Barbie. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Sorry about the interruption. I had to do something. But now I'm back. And we're still driving along this highway. Ooh, wind turbines. A 
and also the, um, guys there's a new game out it's called cube world I mean I'm trying to get my hands on a copy right now but they got they having DDoS attacks I think they're called and um, I can't get a copy currently unfortunately Go options gameplay and then I remove the truck speed limiter. Now let's see. Oh, there we go. Now we're going over 90. Picking up some speed. This is one of the best games I've ever found for graphics and gameplay. But there's other games that I found for um, other good reasons, like story. Well, this game doesn't have a story, so yeah. Well, really, this. <gasps> Ooh, slow down, speed up, camera. Oh gosh, that would not have been nice. Oh, excuse me. Let's try calling someone on the phone again. Whenever I finish putting in the numbers, it always points me out the window. Anyway. No one answered. <laughs> How far do we have to go? So we're here, go right there, go right again, oh yeah, we're not very far from where we need to go now. This first episode is going to be a bit shorter than all my other episodes, but you know, it's only starting, but in the end, videos will get a lot longer and more frequent of this series. So I really enjoy this game. <gasps> oh gosh, I could have flipped there if I was unlucky enough. Nothing coming. Oh, I have. Six hours left to complete this, and I'll be there in an hour. Mm. Expected between ten minutes ago. Come on, and six o'clock. <sighs> and on the rating scale for this game, I'll give it about eight out of ten. Was I mean all the bugs that are in it? It's okay, and it's. I think this is an indie game. I'm not sure, but it's very good for an indie game, I have to say, especially graphics-wise and gameplay. Ooh, we're almost there. I think we're entering the city now. Nope. There's a lot of traffic here. Let's just get over another lane. Hundred and twenty two kilometers. <gasps> ah, fudge. There's some actually really good camera angles on this. Ooh. Oh wow, that actually is a nice crash. Oh, drive by camera. <gasps> oh, fuck.
so yeah guys I can't I really can't wait until I get a hand my hands on a copy of that uh, what's it again mm. oh yeah cube world it's like Minecraft but I said it's more voxely which means everything's one color or one pixel you could say um it's an RPG so you don't um it's you you can't break anything or well, not really in this it's not like minecraft there's already regenerate pre-generated structures you're not limited to 29,999,999 blocks in a world well in a direction in a world it infinitely generates it will continue and the further out you go the higher the level the mobs are the higher the level of the villagers so the villagers will sell sell you better stuff i think and mobs will be a lot harder. If anyone can send me like a link to like where I can buy the game on another website, but the actual people have set it up and they're not getting DDoS attacks, I'd really like a comment. Until I already get the series started, then you'll know not to leave the comment because, well, I've already got a copy of it. This is actually a really good truck, I have to say. It's nice. It's got a lot of pulling power. <coughs> um, yeah. And then look at the wheel. <gasps> oh god, I nearly hit that fence. But yeah, it's got nice wheels. Um, what was I going to do again? Oh yeah, options, gameplay. Whoa. Yeah, those are double axle. Yeah, they are. So, oh well. Oh, it's not a percentage of damage, but it is pretty bad. 480 horsepower. That's pretty strong. That's pretty good. Oh my god. That is close. <laughs> Near miss accident. Hmm. Some of these trucks are very, very powerful. Wow, random FPS drop. When I was pulling up behind that bo bus, my FPS was like 30, and then it went all the way down to about about 15. And now it's back up. Thank you. It was a green light, and I honked him, and he went. It's probably like <laughs> me. Oh, green light, go! Well, my FPS is actually dropping really badly here. Oh, why is it doing that? Maybe it's that big tower in the distance. Oh, now my FPS is back. Oh, yeah, that feels so much smoother. Hello, Volvo. Do you have car alarms in this game? I don't think so. I'm not going to risk it. So get closer and enter. No level up. Well guys, thanks for watching and see you in another episode. Bye! It's like